channel in today's video i'm going to show you how to go and animate what you're actually seeing right here on the screen so this is piggyverse website a platform where you can actually invest and save in nigeria so i'm going to show you how to go and animate something like this where it moves up and down and you can actually do certain animations see there is time in this video where you can just if you over on this it's going to change to the other element which is very easy i'm going to show you how to do everything in this video so basically let me show you what i've done on figma you can see what i'm actually you can see it's right here you can see that i've done this on figma i was actually teaching one of my students how to do something like this he asked me how can i go ahead and design something how can he go ahead and design something like this and we we're able to i was able i was able to you know walk him around um walk him around figma and show him how to do something like this though we're very fast when we're doing something like this but in this video i'm going to show you how to do something like this just only the header and if you screw down you notice i also did other section with him whereby we're able to if over on it you notice it moves up it just moves up though the website is not um finished and it's not uh, i gave him some assignments to do which is this section and i was able to finish uh, most of the sections so yeah so i will show you how to do this particular section on figma so basically all you want to do is to go ahead and create your new page and once you have your new page the next thing you want to do is to go ahead and get all the necessary colors and everything so to get the colors on the website is very easy so you just have to right click click on inspect and you just need to select the particular element which is the body the body of this is the body color the body color is the background so you want to copy the background color you want to copy the um, the color and get all those colors out so once you get once you've gotten those colors if, if you want to get the name of those particular fonts used on the website you just need to write just copy the text then right click and go to font finder font finder is an, uh, is an amazing application that can help you see, that can help you find the right fonts to that is being used on the website all right so if you click on analyze selection it's going to analyze the selection and bring out the font family used on those websites which is jakarta you can see right here, jakarta so you can go ahead and download jakarta but you don't need to download jakarta because it's a it's actually a font on google fonts which is it right here and google fonts is integrated or has been integrated into figma so all you just have to do is to go ahead and select the jakarta sun and that's all so right here i have this this desktop and uh, this desktop i'm sure by now you know how to go ahead with your with getting this desktop frame so i don't want to do that again and you want to go ahead and install or create your layout grid create your layout grid and i've created my layout grid you can let me just show you my settings right here so you can see the rows the counts i used auto for right i used for for gutter i used zero and for type i used top then for the colon for as for the colon i used them 12 and stretch and the margin is 90 the gutter is 20 and that's all so you've gotten to the point where i am so now the next thing you want to do is go and write out all the text used on this website i'll uh, decide the text right here you can just get the text right here and this other ones all right so you just get them and you can create the and i'm sure you know how to create this header so i don't want to do that but i'll just go ahead and copy the ones i have here i'll just copy the one i've done right here because i don't want to make this video i don't want this video to be too um lengthy so the i actually created a new grid i created a new grid first just for this video all right so let me go ahead and align all these things to the grid so i'll just do this i'll just drag it into the frame into the particular grid where the grid is starting and i'll sorry let me do the same thing for the button okay so aligned so now i want to go ahead and let me I want to go ahead and increase the height of this button it looks kind of um it looks kind of small so i'll align it again so now well aligned so now the next thing i want to do is to go ahead and get or so type my text like i said the font is jakarta which is you can see right here i have it there so that's it i've done it this is it so i'll just select the particular color used for that header i have the color installed so i'll just go to custom select it come to this one and select the other one which is i think this so if i okay you can see right here i've gotten the particular color so for this one i use auto layout for this uh, for the menu so i can differentiate it and in case when i'm creating the me mobile menu i can easily just use my vertical layout and it's going to turn to vertical you can see it so that's why i'm actually using this um this stuff here so i'll click on this i just want to align it to the middle then let me select and just select this okay this is 16 
okay so this is 16 then i'll just change this to when we're working on the design we're using a different font so i'll just change this to medium then then i'll change it to the particular text color boom i've done that so now i'll just increase this to 18 i don't want it to look small increase that to 18 then i'll change this text to the particular text we are which the website is using right now so that's it then i'll change it to medium then i think that's all yeah so let me change this black this is black let me change it to the uh, other color okay so that's it okay then there is no white no white um no white feel i'll remove the white feel then i think okay, there isn't the black i don't think there isn't black let me use this color i think there isn't this color then for the text i'll use the same color too i'll use that all right so this is 16 16 i'll change it to 18. so basically what i'm doing is i'm just trying to edit this file so it actually looks similar to the website okay now it's similar to the website so now what i want to do is to go ahead and create this image you can actually get this image all right you can get this image and after you get this image you just need to right click and you click on inspect then you click on you scroll down click on this icon then click on the particular image it's going to select that image for you to select that image for you then click on the just click on the tag till you get that particular image this is the first one as you can see right here this is the first one this is the second one this is the third one this is the fourth one this is the fifth one then i think this is the sixth one this is the main one you can see right here over on the link you'll notice it's going to show you that this is the particular image used you can see right here, this is the image so that was how i was able to get those image for this section which is right here so all you just have to do is to go ahead and connect or you group them so you can see mine is already grouped so what i just did is this is the first image i added them this is the first image so i maxed it i created a max on it all right this is the max and if you, if you drop down this is the image you can see it right here this is the image right here so let me crop this you can see it i'm cropping it you can see the image so that's it then i'll just go that do that then i'll do this then that's all so now then i just what i just had to do was to align all the images align them the way it was in this particular design so i just had to align them and once i'm done that's all then let me put this particular link that load link let's put the particular download link on the frame let's put the download link all right it's done so now to do this we need to convert this stuff let me drag it out of the particular out of that design you go ahead I'll, I'll zoom in and let me enlarge this page so you can see what i'm actually doing so now i'm going to convert this into a component so this has been converted let me let me, let me rename it because i don't want it to let's say euro image let's say euro image then we have that already then now we want to go ahead and come to the asset section and bring that particular euro image again bring it out then this is where we are going to create the particular uh the particular the euro that you're actually seeing there so, and what you want to do is to go ahead and click on convert or create a component then you want to click on this particular once you click on um create a component it's going to show you this add variance click on add variance and click on i can add multiple variants by clicking this plus icon here so for this first variant what you want to do is let me delete this let me click on this one first so what you want to do is to click on it click on the image now if you notice let's go back to let's go back to that image so if you notice this image is moving up and down moving up and down up and down up and down so what we want to do is to go ahead and we select it i've created the hero make sure you're selecting the hero image on this particular section the hero image then not the main one not the main hero image for this particular component the default the only one under the default all right then what you want to do is to go ahead and move it if you move it you notice it's moving it's moving you can see it just use your arrow key on your keyboard to move it so what i'm going to do i'll click on this and i'll create a fill 
because I want to see, why, why am I creating this view? Because I want to see the way this image is moving around this particular default. All right, the way this image is moving around this particular default. So I've removed it to the top, it's at the top right now. So what I'll do is to click on plus, and I've added another one. And it's another one. Then I'll click on plus again, add another one. So now I'll go, I'll do the same thing again for variant two. Then now I'll drag it down, just drag it down to the middle. Or let's just let's just make use of two. Let's make, let's make use of two. And let's make use of three instead. Let me I'll just drag it down a little bit. Then come to the third one. Then I'll just drag it down. I'll just drag it down to the bottom. So now what you do is you select all these three variants and you turn it off. You turn off the fill, and now you've gotten your hero. So now this is where it becomes tricky. You click on prototype. All right, so click on prototype, select the first prototype, then you select the first prototype. Let me go ahead and do this first of all. Let's select this hero and let's add it to auto layout and create a spacing. Let's say spacing can be, I want you to see what I'm doing. Then I can remove the auto layout again, then come back to prototype and select the first image. Then you click on the pin, drag it down. You've created the first one. Then now instead of on click, you change it to after delay, then you change, leave it as changed to because it's going to change to the second property. Then instead of instance, we want to have smart animate. Then you want to increase or reduce the seconds, let's say 100. All right, 100. Then we do the same thing for this for the third one. Then instead of on click, we want it to be after delay. Then the after delay, you can reduce the timing of the after delay, let's say. 200 and leave this at 100 then do then you click on this one then we'll drag it to the top again we we'll drag it to the top then instead of one click after delay then we can pull let's pull 400 and make sure it's same setting smart and minutes then the is out then that's all then now we've done it but what you want to do now is to come to design click on the assets and drag the particular arrow we just created which is it right here which is it right here so i'll just drag this again i'll click on this and i'll click on prototype because i want to prototype, prototype the page two i can actually do prototype page two from this section let's just go to okay we can't let me see okay so we are prototyping page two already and just sec on this new page so you can see i say we notice it's moving you can see it right here it's moving <laughs> so you can see this is beautiful now it's looking like the website version it's looking like the website version so you can see it so if the if the movement is too much for you you can actually reduce it by just going back sorry by just going back to this one you just have to reduce it a little bit reduce it a little bit and come back and it will, it will reduce let me do it for the third one so now it's going to reduce so you've noticed it's reducing now so you can you can do it you can reduce it and just get the right angle and you'll be able to animate that particular section so as you can see we've been able to animate the, this section you can see it right here we've been able to animate it and now it's looking nice this is nice so we've been able to do something amazing so yeah so like i said i just wanted to show you guys how to go ahead and animate this particular section which is very very easy so if you actually enjoyed the video kindly subscribe and also don't forget to leave a like on the video thanks for watching